Hello everyone, I am Surya from Team Game Automators and in this video series we are going to learn how to build mobile game solvers. So Game Automators has been started with the vision of making learning fun. Most of us played video games when we were young and we really enjoyed that. We had that sense of happiness when you completed a level. We intend to bring the joy back by building a system or robot or algorithm that can play the game. For example, when I was young, I used to play the game Dangerous Day and I always used to lose in the level 8. So it would be really interesting to see how an algorithm that I built, uh, my algorithm, my robot would solve it. That would be very interesting to watch and I think that would bring that happiness and joy back. Would it actually be fun? Yes. I experienced that when we solved the game Piano Tiles. So Piano Tiles is a game in which black tiles keep falling from the top of the mobile screen. It's actually an Android mobile game. And you have to keep tapping on the black tiles. The rate at which the black tiles are falling increases and uh, you have to keep up to the rate. And if you miss a black tile, you lose. And uh, we were trying to make a high score in this game. And I can unequivocally tell you that I had a lot more fun building a robot to solve this game than just trying to make a high score manually. So after we had the robot ready, we were very happy. People came to our room and they were seeing that this robot is, is really beating the shit out of humans. It's, it's able to do a really, really good job playing the game and it's beating all world records and that made us very happy. I mentored students during the winter and hackathon 5.0 at NIT Varangal to learn how to build mobile game solvers and the results were surprisingly good. The students were really enthusiastic and people who had no experience with image processing before learned relevant concepts and successfully solved games in less than a week. So they learned a lot in the process. If we had called people saying let's learn image processing or an image processing workshop, I'm sure very few people would have turned out. but. Because we showed such an interesting application of image processing, there were so many people who came up, who, came, who learned and who really, really enjoyed learning and were very happy uh, while they were returning because they successfully solved a complete game. So the video of the Piano Tales game that we solved was uploaded on YouTube and it got an overwhelming response with over 200,000 views. There are many people who are asking me, how did you do that? And uh, because many people wanted it, I also made a tutorial video on the same and it again got over 200,000 views. This shows that it's not only people at NIT Warangal but people all around the world who want to learn and try to solve games in a creative manner. Here are examples of a few games that we are going to solve. So it's Stick Hero. This is the game Stick Hero. So let me play and show it to you how it works. So when you touch the screen, the, a stick pops up and you have to make sure that the length of the stick is same as that of the length between the two pillars. So this is how you have to play the game. So I need to press it so that this pillar exactly falls at the center of the next one. And this is how I can keep making a score. Unblock me. In this game, you have to move the blocks around in such a way that the red block can go through the hole. Piano tiles. In this game, you have to be tapping the black tiles that are coming from the top of the screen. The speed at which the black tiles will be coming is increasing and you have to be careful not to miss any. And Sudoku. This is another game that we can be solving on the mobile. This also bolsters interest in the field of artificial intelligence which, which is probably one of the fastest growing fields right now. Once people learn building machines for playing games, they can expand into other areas of AI such as natural language processing, robotics, computer vision, stock trading, medical diagnosis and there are many more. Some of the interesting projects in the field of AI are replicating human brain architecture, self-driving cars, personal assistants and game playing robots. Previous experience with coding and building small circuits is helpful but it's okay if you have no experience. 
We will provide you with specific resources on where you can learn more and come back to this video series to continue. That's all for this video. I hope you get what we are trying to do here and I hope you are interested in learning more. In the next video, we will learn about different approaches in which we can solve the games.